What's up everyone, Tate down here, welcome back to another video. Finally, I am bringing comic books back to the channel in a big way. If you guys seen recently, I did purchase a over 2,000 comic lot that I purchased to resell, but let's face it, you guys know I collect comic books. Some of this is gonna be staying in my personal collection. It just is a matter of finding out what is staying in my personal collection. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the comic books that I found. Today is gonna to be all X-Force. And I'm going to have at least two, if not more, videos worth of X-Force. And then I dive into X-Men, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, a whole bunch of stuff, including the most expensive comics that were included in the slots. I'm going to be making that video very soon as well. But a lot more comic-related videos coming to the channel, and I'm really excited because I've been wanting this for a long time. Haven't been able to get comic books. A lot of comic book stores are not really doing so well for the longest time because of COVID. There was a lot of them that were, were closed because of lockdown and it's been really hard to find comic books. I did earlier this year purchase a Zek box. Honestly, it was way overpriced for the comics that I received in it. It was $120. I did purchase off of Amazon another uh, comic book mystery box. That was $50 plus $50 shipped. That was $100. I did get 50 comics out of it, 25 Marvel, 25 DC, which was great, but still that was a lot of money. Still, that's basically $2 per comic. What I purchased the whole lot for was $1,000, so I got over 2,000 comics, about 44 cents each, which is amazing. Some of them are expensive comics, some of them are sets, some of them are things that I've already been selling fairly quick, so I decided to, before I sell them, share with you the comics that I did end up finding. So today, let's just get straight to X-Force. Now, the one thing with X-Force is they do have issue one, and it does continue for quite some time, but there is some missing here or there. I don't know if it's worth my time to hold on to them for a while and see if I can find the ones that are missing to have a complete run of X-Force. Maybe not a complete from beginning to end, but at least from issue one to, I think, issue 40 is here, but there's some that are missing in between. So I'll let you guys let me know down below, should I sell this as is, or should I hold on to it and try to find the missing pieces, either for my own personal collection, or would that be better for them to sell? So at first, we do have issue number one. This is very cool. It's a little bit of a glare today. And yeah, there we go. Um, very interesting. There's no damage. Again, you guys can probably tell it is not boarded. All of the comics that were included in a lot are bagged, but not all of them are boarded, which hit or miss for me. Um, they all are in decent enough condition that I can look past that and any that I want to keep for myself, I am going to obviously board them. I don't feel that it's safe not to. But there's issue number one. Issue number two is bagged and boarded. This one here, I actually have a copy for myself. There was actually a double of this one and issue number one in the lots. And this is the return of Deadpool. So that is very interesting right there. Definitely gonna have to check this one out and give this one a read. We have issue number three that has Juggernaut on the cover. That looks amazing. There's a little bit of a glare. I do apologize, I'm trying to avoid the glare. But that is really cool. And it has the X-Men action figures on the back cover. That's very interesting. We have issue number four. That's, ooh, it includes Spider-Man. You guys know I absolutely love Spider-Man. I do collect most, mostly Spider-Man, but I do collect X-Men, uh, Fantastic Four, a bunch of different stuff that I will show you guys in the future, my current collection and what I keep from the lots. But we have issue number four right there. Issue number five looks very... Very cool. I love the artwork of comics. That's what really draws me in. As you guys know, I do collect mainly uh, 80s stuff, but I do like a mix of stuff. If I like the cover, I'm going to like the comic, as long as it's my theme, usually. Issue number six. So I have one through six without missing any. Issue number seven right here. That's really cool. I like how the uh, sky is the background. That's very interesting. And we are missing number eight. So again, there is some that are missing here or there, but we go straight to issue number nine, which I might have in my personal collection. This cover looks very familiar. And that's very interesting. Issue number 10. I do like that. That looks really, really cool. I like battle scenes Well, whenever it's uh, on the cover. Issue number 12. That's really cool. First glance, I thought it was Thanos. Infinity Gauntlet looking like his glove. 
purple, but it's not. Issue number 13, blowouts. That's really cool. Issue 14. I don't know if issue eight is the only one that we're missing so far to have a complete run. Uh, issue number 15, I think there was a double of this one too, which obviously is why I'm keeping it because there is Deadpool on the cover. I love Deadpool, you guys know this. Um, so that's really cool. I think I have a double of this one, so one's to sell, one's to keep. And then from there, it jumps up to issue number 20. So I have one through 15, I'm only missing number eight, and then it goes straight to 20. That's really cool. You guys know I absolutely love purple, so I love the border of this comic. Issue 21. Kind of looks like... Uh, yeah, it is. War Machine. It says right there. I was going to say Iron Man, but no. Um, had to catch myself there. Issue 22. Very nice comics. They're all in great condition, even though they're not bagged and boarded. They're in still great condition, which I absolutely love. Issue 23, uh, looks like Deadpool has seen better days on this cover. Beaten right there. 24. Oh, there's one that I didn't see before. That's really cool. Issue 25, let me know down in the comments below. Um, is this worth anything? This is issue 25 and it has a hologram on it. Now I did find another X-Force comic book. Um, I don't know if I even have it for this video to share with you guys, but um, I did have another hologram and it looks like it's a different hologram. I think it has Gambit in the one that I have. So this is really cool. It looks like Cable is in the hologram there. Um, that is very interesting. I'm gonna have to look up, see what that is worth. Issue 26. All of them look amazing. I absolutely love this. This is gonna be hard for me to end up selling them because I love X-Men, I love X-Force but I did buy them for the purpose of reselling, so maybe I'll hold on to them, sell some of my other lower end stuff or the stuff that I don't want to keep, and then decide. Let me know what you guys would do if you guys were in my shoes. And do you guys purchase uh, lots of 2000 comics to go through? I think it's just fun, but I did purchase them to resell, so definitely gonna have to check them out. Issue 29, that is really cool, jeez. I'm having so much fun just doing this. Issue number 30. So we'd almost have a complete run if uh, I think we're missing six maybe, and then we'd have one through 30. So I don't know, this is issue 31. Child's Play. No, this one doesn't say Child's Play. This one says Child's Play. This is issue 32, Child's Play, uh, one of four. And then issue 33, the final book for today's video. Uh, it says Child's Play, three of four. So we're gonna have to see where two of four and four of four are. But that is really cool. I love Cable on the scene there, the front cover. That is really cool. So you guys know I absolutely love X-Men, I love collecting comics, so expect to see more of these videos in the future. I did keep a lot of the other ones that are in my collection I have yet to share with you guys, but I will be back in a future video with some more X-Force, and then I think I have two, at least two videos worth of X-Men to share, at least two videos of Spider-Man comics to share, and a bunch of other comics as well. I'm really happy that I'm back into comics, and I'm really happy that I get to bring the love for comics that I have, back onto my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought. Do you guys think I should sell these comics or keep them and see if I can fill in the blanks or what I should do? I don't really know right now. I'm definitely gonna have to think about it, but I would love to hear what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.